Hi, I'm Becky Stern, and this is my electronic knitting machine. Today I would like to show you how you can take any pattern from the computer and put it on the machine, thanks to some hacking that uh, Lamore Freed and I did recently. What she did was take a standard uh, FTDI USB to serial connector that you would use for programming in Arduino or whatever, and uh, changed a few of the configurations on the chip, and then we uh, reconfigured the pins at the end to fit the back of the knitting machine, and voila, it connects to the computer. Well, the machine was made in the 80s, and it wants to connect to a Tandy floppy drive. So um, we looked online, and we found this guy, Steve Conklin, who wrote a uh, Python emulator for a floppy drive, so that when this thing is talking to the computer, it thinks it's talking to the drive. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is pick a pattern that we want to make into a knitted garment. I uh, took some icons from the inside of the maker's notebook that I liked and I uh, fussed with them a little bit uh, in Photoshop to make it a one-bit bitmap, so just black or white, and um, made it quite low resolution. It's uh, 80 pixels by 83. So we're going to note that number and take it over to the knitting machine and uh, make a pattern that's going to fit the image. I want to start with a blank slate, so I'm going to completely clear the machine's reprogrammable memory. Uh, by clearing the display and typing 888. That completely resets all of the user preferences on the machine, so it's just like it came from the factory with the factory loaded programs and nothing else. I'm going to restart the machine, turn it off and on. And now I'm ready to make a container program. So I'm going to hit input. I'm going to uh, make sure I write down the number 901, that's the first user generated pattern that it wants to store. I and mean, I'm going to need that number later. I hit step. It's going to ask me how many stitches. And that's going to be the width of my image, which is 80 pixels or stitches. Hit step. And then it shows me how many rows it has room for at that width, uh, considering the limited memory inside the machine. Uh, so 166 is plenty. I'm going to clear that and uh, enter the width is 83, or the height, and then step. And then uh, right now would be when I would program it in by hand, the different colors of the pixels, but I don't have to do that because the computer's going to do it for me. I'm going to exit input mode, and then I'm going to get ready to save out that blank pattern to the machine. Over on the computer again, in my terminal window, I've navigated to the folder where the code is for the knitting machine, and I'm going to go ahead and start up that uh, Python Tandy floppy drive emulator that Steve Conklin wrote. So now it's ready to go. That means that when the knitting machine talks to it, it's going to think it's talking to the drive. Over at the machine, I'm going to tell it to back up to disk, and it's going to think that it's doing that. So the, cl the command for that is 552. Uh, it goes ahead and tells you it's going to write to track 1. So you say, OK, track 1 sounds good. Hit step, and we have some files on the machine that we can play around with. Before I edit the files that came off of the knitting machine, I'm going to exit the Python disk emulator by hitting Control c and now I can see that I have all of these files in the IMG folder. Especially this one, file01.dat is the one that we're going to play with. So back in terminal, I'm going to use the um, script called insert pattern, and I'm going to go ahead and um, run it against file01.dat that came off of the machine. And then 901 is the pattern I want to store my new image in. The name of my file is icons.bmp. And then uh, the file I want it to output to is called newfile01.dat. There we go. I get a little preview. And then I can use the script called dump pattern to show me that pattern again. Prove to me that it actually inserted the pattern into the file. I'm going to split that pattern into two tracks. So it created these track one, track zero, and track one. And those will replace zero and one in the IMG folder. Now I'm ready to load the files from memory again with those new manipulated files. And uh, so to do that, I'll start the Python uh, disk drive emulator up again. Back on the knitting machine, I'm going to clear the display and tell it to load patterns. That command is 551. It says, what track do you want to load? So I say 1. That's the one we saved it to before. It thinks for a while, and it's done. Now I can knit that pattern that it just put on from uh, Photoshop. 
Pattern 901, just one of them, please, at stitch 40. That sounds good. And I'm ready to go. I just need to turn the dial on the carriage, push in this button, and now it pulls on this, uh, this magnetic strip, which pulls through some rotary encoders inside the machine, and it uh, sort of prints just like a printer. So it pulls the needles forward that are going to be in the second color, which I have already in my tensioner unit. Put it in the second yarn feeder. row of the pattern and it makes a little noise when it's done um, and then it immediately tries to start doing it again so if you want to just have plain knitting you turn the dial back to plain cut off the second color okay and then to take it off you just cut your color and Take the weights off, and then just bring the carriage straight across. So next I would just sort of take this over to the ironing board, uh, block it like I would block any other knitted garment, but that's the idea. There's how to print out computerized patterns on the electronic knitting machine, Brother Electronit KH930E. See you next time on the craft video.